Hi, it's Katie. Uh, this is evaluation point two. So, evaluation point two is how does your media project represent particular social groups? So, you may ask, what is a social group? A social group is basically a group of people who have the same interests, same likes, or same personalities, or even same race. So, in my media, I have two social groups the gangsters and also the femmes which basically comes under the line of hipsters as the overall social group. So what is a gangster? Basically a gangster is an organised group of criminals mostly carrying out violent crimes or illegal crimes. So for example in the 1930 to 40s they would have illegal businesses which they would sell guns or kill people or be after people. So moving on, what is a femme top? A femme fatale is an attractive and seductive woman, especially one of those who ultimately causes distress to a man or becomes involved with this man very intimately, but then goes back on herself by making herself the better person. Hence why femme fatales and gangsters are not used the category of hipsters, as they're very, well they're not very common and they're also very unique. So going back to the evaluation point question, what have we done to make our social groups in our film noir? We have used four technical areas to promote our social groups. We have used cinematography, mise en scène, editing, and sound. First of all, mise en scène. For the costume, we have used very stereotypical um, costumes which they would be wearing in the 1940s. So Esme Queen Tulula is wearing a very seductive red dress to promote her sexuality as a femme top. She is wearing also red lipstick, very dark eyeshadow. This makes her more seductive, powerful. Her shape, her face is more aligned with her body movement, which makes her look more a higher status than the rest of them. It focuses the camera on her basically. By having Esme in all these red and the seductive clothes and eyeshadow, etc., this links to the social group of how femme fatales are very powerful and have a lot higher status than the rest of them. They are luring the men in and they are more powerful than the men, which actually changes the stereotype of today's society. So let's move on to the gangsters. The gangsters in our movie are very well dressed, how they used to be in the 1940s. They were wearing suits, bow ties, hats, bowler hats. Um, they're meant to look very seductive. But yeah, with the femme fatales, they're a lower status. It doesn't matter what they're wearing, it's the way they're presented, but the way that their status is higher than the others. So actually, it really doesn't matter what gender you are, it's the social group. So, femme fatales and women, you know, oh, they'll probably be not here. Men, you know, higher status, they should be up here because dominance. No. In the 1940s, with femme fatales, because they were so powerful and so sexualized and just so dominant over the men, this stereotype has switched. Femme fatales are here, gangsters are down here. So, by having our um, social stereotypes, it makes our social groups very even. Throughout our movie, we have used a range of cinematography techniques such as high angles, low angles, panning, uh, mid shots, uh, over shoulder shots, etc, etc, to show our different types of social groups. So, for example, to show our stronger social group, the Frenetals, um, being more dominant over the social groups of the gangsters, we have used a very powerful close up of Esme um, Tanula in her red dress. So we, sh so we see her as more of an important character than the others, which are mostly used as mid shots, never a close up with the other guys, which are the gangsters. So this shows that the Bevatal social group is stronger than the other group. Cinematography and mise en scène are the two main ones in our movie which we have used to promote our social groups. Uh, editing has come in just slightly as well as props etc but mostly, mostly mise en scène and cinematography are the two main ones which we have used. But halfway through there is a narration which is basically revealing um, the protagonist's emotions very well. Um, saying how he really misses her and how it should be him sitting with her rather than him um, Anthony sitting with her. 
So this shows the weaker side of the social group of the gangsters because they're meant to be very well dominant and everything. Um, so the femtal social group is definitely stronger. So that was my evaluation. Um, I hope you liked it.